Hey guys, so I'm here to film an updated review on my Samsung fridge freezer. This is the fridge freezer, it's quite tall, it's almost at my ceiling <laughs> and down to the bottom. Now I'm doing laundry so there's clothes all over the floor but what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go into the freezer bit to show you guys how that's doing. They're all full open boxes. The bottom box, as you can see, is stocked. I've done my grocery shopping. You guys would see that video. So, you know, I've parceled my stuff out into little bags to make it easier. So the box is quite deep. This is it, and it's quite full to the top. Got some veg, some okras, a bag of prawns at the back, okay? Then in this other one, which is another full open box. I want to hold it properly because I don't want to break my box. I've got meatballs. I've got, I don't know what that is. What is this? Um, oh, these are some fruits. So I've got some meatballs. Let me try to get one bag out. Ooh, so you guys can kind of see. So I've taken out one of the bags of meatballs. Whoa. And what I do with these, I pass them out as well. I've got some mixed veg under and then some okra, some fruits here and a garlic bread under there, okay, and a just roll pastry in the corner. So it does hold a lot of things. Oh, okay. I don't want to break my fridge. All right, all right, all right. This is the other bag. So heavy. Okay, okay. Oh. And then in the top, I usually keep ice lollies, but there's only one left, and that's Kaylan's. And I'm trying my best not to eat it. And then in these little containers, I keep like sauces. I think these are pizza sauces. <laughs> I think. But I know that these two are coconut creams, and I've got some rice that was good. And then I've got some more garlic bread. And just these ice packs that you put in your lunch bags. So you've got quite a lot of freezer space. But obviously, me being me, I need more space because, yeah. So this is the overview of this fridge. It's not organized the way I'd want it. But I wanted to show you guys a realistic look into the fridge. I'm out of breath. Hold on. Give me a minute. <sighs> okay. I wanted to show you guys the realistic overview of the fridge because I know quite a few of you are interested in it and want to purchase it. Now, I am not using the fridge the way the slots are intended to be used because I don't eat certain things, so I just do what I do. I don't follow the rules. And if you've been watching me for a long time, you know, I'm one to go against the bloody grain. All right, so we're going to talk about space in the fridge, okay? All right, hold on. We need to get this fridge door situated because it keeps swinging open and throughout filming this video you're going to hear my door go ding 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 to tell you it's open so what i'm going to do what i'm going to do is have a one-to-one -one with you okay so we're going to start here so this is usually where people would put their eggs and stuff like that but i took out the egg bit because i don't eat eggs at the moment I do use it to make cakes, but I've stored my creme fraiche up here and my cheeses slice and block and my cream cheese. I store those up there. In this little section here, I usually used to store um, canned drinks, okay, because that's what it's for. You know, your canned drinks and stuff like that. But I decided to store my custard and my cream, all right? all right and then i put the tomato puree there because um and that's where it lives for now temporarily i'm gonna organize the fridge eventually but mm, guys it's dinging anyway and i keep my little sauces here okay so i've just got my ginger sauces my chili sauce me dairy free <laughs> Oh, whipped cream, guys. I'll be getting freaky. I'm joking. I'm joking. Freaky with who? <laughs> Strawberries. <laughs> uh, 
Anywho, anywho, let's not digress. Then I've got me chow mein sauce that is open and some hot sauce. If you don't eat hot sauce, don't river, but, but big up the Caribbean. Yeah, big up me, big up you, big up everybody. And actually, um, this is supposed to be at the front so I could see, you know, that I've got it. Okay. Anyway, we're going to organize this fridge one day. That's more money that I'll have to spend. But right now, we got to reel it in. So down here, this is how high the cupboard is because it does have a 4.5 litre water dispenser. And if you missed it, there's the dispenser on the front. I don't drink normal milk. So if you drink normal milk, probably a 4 litre could fit into this little bit here. But one thing I will say you don't get a lot of things that could stand okay so i'm using just a standard bottle this is a 1.5 liter what am i saying this is a one liter cartoon i think it's one liter where is the bloody size there we go one liter do better only i couldn't see that but anyhow it doesn't fit there okay as you can see it doesn't go under there can't go under there because that's for your meat and it doesn't go up there so i have to turn them the other way around now this shelf this one you could bring it down a bit but i leave it like that because i have stuff that needs to fit so in the door i usually keep the milk that i'm using which is this one but obviously i was running out of space so i had to put another milk here and then i've got my mayonnaise and my ketchup is usually in here all right and then my lemon juice and then what's usually in here as well is my squash okay so sort of like this but i know it's not eye candy but we're gonna work on it because you guys know i'm the queen of organization okay so put some respect on my name all right <laughs> Okay, I'm annoying. Let me just give you guys a top tip. Now, my fridge does look packed, but as you notice, nothing is touching the back. Okay, I could put my hands down the side of the back. Okay, because what you don't want to do is have stuff piled up because the light will start, you know, damaging your food and you'll damage the fridge as well and you'll get frost. Even though it's frost free, all right, you will get frost because you're blocking the way the air needs to circulate within the fridge. All right, so don't be piling your fridge up, darling. I know it looks piled, but there's a lot of ventilation going around. So, I've showed you guys this side. <laughs> take it in, take it in. Oatly, holla at your girl. Holla at your girl, okay? Okay, all right. So at the top, I've got more milk, and I store them this way, okay? Opposed to the other way, just in case, you know, you don't want milk dripping down and I'm very OCD in case you've not noticed. I know my house is in chaos, but you know, we all have our strengths and our weaknesses. I've got my milk here. So up top, it stores six of these this way. You probably could get more if you turn it on the side, maybe. Let's see. Let's venture. Samsung, holler at me, okay? Holler at me, Samsung. Because I'm doing all of this for free. Free 99. Let's push it to the side. I'm leaving space at the back. Okay, my loves. Let's see. Maybe, maybe, maybe another one could hold. Maybe. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. It's a tight squeeze, but boom! <laughs> Aesthetic. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. And it also makes it easy for you to see the expiration date. I'm loud, guys. Turn your computers down, okay? Turn your phones down. So, I think I'm going to leave it like this. Because we get to store more stuff in there. Now, coming down here, we've got some patties, okay? We got two that we're going to have for lunch or dinner today. Yes, we have it either for lunch or dinner, whatever we feel like. Because they're expiring today. So we're gonna have the chicken ones okay these two and these are the ones with the longer dates let me put them here i feel like this video is just discombobulated but if it's not discombobulating this wouldn't be our simple life okay so don't judge me judge yourself so we've got patties here and i've got it stocked so i've got some milk here this is almost empty this is just some 
flaxseed that I've grinded up. I should have put it in a glass jar, but I was being lazy. But anywho, remove. So what I've got here are my condiments, okay? Now, I do want to get a lazy Susan. I've always wanted to organise my fridge. It's something I've spoken about. Maybe not on my channel in much depth, but I've always wanted to organise my fridge because I like to, you know, be able to access things. Because if you watch my videos, you see how my kitchen cupboards are. I've got some condiments here, like barbecue sauce. Um, What's this? Salad dressing, teriyaki sauce. Some, I think this is tamarind sauce. And the garlic mayo. And then I've got two Califia Farm almond milk here laying down. The downside with this fridge is that you can't stand certain things up like that, okay? So if that's going to be a problem and the door space is not going to be enough for you, then boo, I don't know what to tell you, okay? Okay, darling? Okay, I don't know what to tell you. Let me see if this can fit here. Oh, you see? Even the ketchup can't fit. Okay, you have to kind of, to get it to fit, you have to dip it. Dip it low, bring it up slow, turn it around. Na, 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 na. Pop, pop, pop that thing. It fits under here as well. With the Lazy Susan, I'll put like these on there, you know, the ketchup and the mayonnaise. So they could come out of this part and then these milks could go into like, these could go into the door. And this is just a 750 mil. But like I said, they don't stand up, but you know, they lay down. <laughs> so let's move this across. And I've got me coffee, okay? I put you guys onto, some of you onto the hot chocolate. They do coffee, which is good. Dairy free, boom. Califia, holla at your girl. Now in these containers, I've got some fruits that I've washed and chopped up. I've got a video that you would see before this one. So we're gonna just move these down. So I could show you what's at the back. We've got some strawberry jam, which usually lives in the door. My fridge is discombobulated. And we've got some a sweet, tomato and chili chutney if you've not tried this what are you doing get your life and then i've got some flax seeds i keep these in the fridge guys store your flax seeds in the fridge it will change your life darling oh my god the current's gone i'm just kidding it's because my fridge is open it's keep it keeps dinging and because my fridge open it's getting you know quite frosty um but anyhow let's go along i'm chatting a lot i'm chatting a lot let's put this back in okay all right so you can see it does hold quite a bit of things but like i said leave your spaces at the back all right my darlings so um let's get these back up there my darlings okay all right there we go now coming on down here We've got green seasonings, two jars, big jar, little jar. Uh, we've got some bacon, butter. In this, we've got some thyme. And then we have got some salsa, some freshly cut pineapple, a bowl of fruits that I washed. Like I said, a video is coming. So I've just stored that there because, you know, I want to be able to see it. And the reason why I've put the paper towel is to absorb any moisture, okay? I know it might look ghetto, but it works. Don't judge me, judge yourself. We've got our Cokes there. Then we've got some more creme fraiche. Let's zoom in. <laughs> okay, we've got some more creme fraiche there. And we have got these lovely desserts right here. They're so good. We've already had one of each. Really nice. I will be buying these. So um, the Coconut um, Collaborative, is that the name of the company? Um, my darlings, yes, it is the name. Hello, we're a dairy-free family, okay? So, hello. <laughs> promo, 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 promo. Let me close the door because we need light, okay? Let's close it. Bam! <laughs> this is what happens when you pay your electricity bill. Like, yeah, boo. So, you could see I could hold a couple more cans. I think two more could come. One, two. I had about five in here, but I've drank a few. So, these could usually be stored up here. But um, we've got these up here instead because it just looks nice. But anyhow, um, when I get the organization, you know, the trays and stuff, I'll put these in there, you know, and it would look better. So stay tuned for that video. Now I have paper towel and a dish draining mat in my fridge. And you guys are thinking, what the bloody hell? Let me tell you something. I store meat on this and I don't want meat dripping into my drawers and dripping in my fridge and all that kind of stuff. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, so it's easy to put stuff in here and just take it out when you're finished with it and throw it in the washing machine and boom, bam, bam, you're saving the environment. Okay, okay. Now, 
I've got some bacon and the reason why the butter is here, the butter is usually on this shelf, but as you can see, we've got fruits up there. So we have to kind of store the butter here because, um, you know, um, there's no space to store the butter. Okay. Am I annoying you? If I'm annoying you, give this video a thumbs up. Anyway, and then I've got three crates of chicken and they're very big crates if you see my haul. So it fits three this way. You could turn it the other way if you wish, but I do it this way to maximize the space. And then the final hour, we have got a cucumber, <laughs> two salads, okay? We got some tomatoes, we got some tomatoes, tomatoes, potato, potatoes. We've got some sweet baby peppers and we've got some normal peppers, okay? And then we got some carrots because I bought carrots and I forgot I had carrots. So we got extra carrots, okay? And then we got a bit of ginger here. Make sure you drink your ginger. It's good for you. All right, all right. So let's, um, I think the best thing to do is to put the, the salad down here and then pop this one on top of it like that and then we will pop this to the front so we could remember that we've got this okay darling move the cucumber up move these to the side just shimmy it over shimmy 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 why am i like this oh my god i promise you that you know i'm a grown woman with a child but anywho this is what's going on down in the salad drawer i think i need to get this organized too i need a little bin something that can fit inside of this so i could keep the carrots and the potatoes and the potatoes in there and then the other side would be your salad and then this side would be like your peppers and your peppers you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying you feel me you dig so yes my loves this is the samsung free trees at all all right this is how it looks fully stocked now we will be taking these out because i need to clean them and season them and put them in the freezer like all jokes aside because i don't want my chicken going off right because i paid money 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 by the way okay oh gosh I, if this is like a show and tell you know like so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna show you guys how the can cokes the things that are bad for you but it's still good because they taste good could go in here so you go Boop. okay is it gonna show me up really i think you need smaller cans i used to use the smaller cans okay but um because what you don't want to do is this dropping on your head um maybe maybe it's just me but anyhow you could sort of do them like that and then another one would fit on the end but then would it close okay we've got things there so we can't check that anyway guys i'm getting I'm, I'm doing too much now like they didn't even sponsor me this bloody fridge you know i'm here burning that electricity showing you guys how this works and you know all i'm getting in return is a ding 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 okay i'm putting these in expiration order okay so this is expiring okay so i put my stuff in expiration date order see i told you it's more aesthetically pleasing with these up there so you know i could fit another one of this on the end so this is it guys this is it huh huh okay okay boo mm-hmm mm -hmm. so it's a great fridge freezer the only downside is if you're a person who wants to stock stuff up bottles and stuff you're kind of limited but i just feel like if you're smart it'll work you could use this tray if you don't feel like you'll utilize this you could take this out and you could put taller bottles but i like my stuff in my fridge okay i like my fridge the way it is i need to stock up on some water you're gonna need to stock up on some water but you can see these bottles are quite tall and they fit here this one fits under there this one um it's a bit of a squeeze hold on to get it under there you see it sort of jams so yeah it's quite good quite handy and you love it let me know if you buy it and if you buy it welcome to the club okay guys let's cut this camera off <laughs> bye